VIP. Let's kick it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Drone X Factor, and yes, I am dealing with the birds again. Apparently, it's mating season. I'm not quite sure. They're probably nest around either which way. I had to make a decision: Do I finish this review, or do I lock up shop? And head home on such a beautiful day. Here we go again. Here we go again. Grabs a hold of me tightly, flow like a hawk from daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Hopefully, they're not interested in the wind today was 10 miles an hour it was gusting at 25 miles an hour so it was pretty hectic up there visibility was very low anyway back to what today's video is about we're going to be talking about cinematic mode for the DJI Mavic Air and this also applies to the DJI Mavic Pro why the Phantom series does not come with this mode I really don't know first of all you find this mode right above the A pass and right below the return to home button that's on your phone screen to the left where you see the little controller you hit that controller icon and that will take you to all of the Mavic Air's flight modes now there's tripod mode there's normal mode there's quick shot there's active track smart capture point of interest tap to fly in cinematic mode I chose cinematic mode first because I believe this is the absolute easiest way for a beginner to capture great videos right off from the very start it is so simple and so easy to use I remember being a beginner and one of the things we would do when we want to go forward backward or to the side is push the remote control sticks all the way to the left all the way to the right or all the way forward when we want to go forward we hardly ever use gradual movements slow movements we tend to just push the stick in the direction we want the drone to go now our gimbal does a fantastic job of not showing that in the video however when you let off that throttle when you stop the motion we also have a habit of stopping abruptly sometimes we won't even back the sticks down to the center point we'll just loose the stick when we want to stop the stick bounces back because it's spring loaded to the middle or to the center point and that is where the gimbal does not adjust itself at its finest that's when you can get a shake that's when you can get some rough motion when you loose those sticks and this is what cinematic mode helps you with as a beginner you can go ahead and loose those sticks the drone will stop slower it means that the drone will also have a longer braking distance so yes you have to be careful when you're flying but in general and as a beginner you don't want to fly too close up to things you want to generally keep your distance all you're looking for is smooth motion now I have been flying cinematic mode for months anything I'm going to capture these days I'm in cinematic mode because of the smoothness and because I don't have to worry regardless of whether I loose the sticks or whether I let off the gas slowly it really doesn't matter to me I know that the drone will take care of the motion for me and that's what I like to the extreme I rock a mic like a vandal light up a stage and wax a chump like a candle and even though you might not be a, a beginner you might be a pro when you're flying in cold weather your hands get cold even if you have warmers on sometimes it can slip sometimes it's very uncomfortable you have a tendency not to execute like you would on a nice warm summer day as a result we might slip fingers might come off the sticks or we might be a lot more harsh in our movements because it is a cold day at the set time we do want the best shot I absolutely recommend cinematic 
flight mode it also slows your yaw speed down your yaw speed is your pivot where the drone actually spins around or turns on its axis kind of like the earth revolving on its axis that kind of spin that motion it makes it much slower than it normally does out of the box and as a result if you decide to look left look right or make a complete 360 to see what's around you or to capture what's around you the, the drone will spin a lot slower and thus giving you a much better video now if you're a professional you can get the same results by adjusting your gain your pitch your roll your yaw and your vertical all of these can be adjusted to suit your needs and to give you pretty much the same results or even a lot better you can also adjust your break your yaw endpoint your attitude all of this which is aggression you can adjust and play with all of these settings and that will definitely give you a similar if not better flying experience there's also your exponential which you can adjust the sticks in case you're harsh on the sticks to give you a nice smooth motion so these are all ways that you can achieve the same cinematic mode or even better if you know to tweak your settings properly for me i prefer to take off go to the point fly normally get to what i'm i want to capture take a good look around in the air to make sure that everything is well thought out and then i jump into cinematic mode and capture the shot that i'm looking for caution you that while the drone is in cinematic mode your a pass which is your flight assistance mode does not work in any flight mode including cinematic mode so be aware of that a pass does not work in any of your flight modes however your obstacle avoidance will and you won't have to worry too much about hitting any obstacles honestly the mavic pro it doesn't do that well of a job flying normally so when you actually put the Mavic Pro in cinematic mode the difference is stunning the reason I have to give it to the Mavic Air is because outside of cinematic mode just flying normally the gimbal and the camera does a really really amazing job to the point where it does not shake as much as the Mavic Pro when you lose the sticks it really impressed me even if you're new to drones and you do decide to get the Mavic Air I hope that you do go and try out this flight mode especially if you're into videos more than photos photos I would definitely recommend tripod mode and we'll talk about that in a few next few videos cinematic mode is the simplest and easiest mode to get in and out of without making a lot of adjustments and capturing absolutely smooth footage I hope this video is helpful don't forget to do all the fun stuff to like to subscribe to share and all that good stuff keep it locked right here this is your boy drone x factor don't forget to follow me on facebook and instagram that's where i do all my little snippets that's why a lot of you knew this was coming before it came and big shout out to all my patrons thank you for all your support helping to make my dream of becoming a full-time youtuber come true one of these days every dollar helps and goes an absolute long way this is your boy drone x factor and i've got to be Finishing editing this video.